Hey, Keller Williams. We're going to do a, a fun thing today, I think. We're just doing an email blast to our clients, highlighting the fact that the 2024 Parade of Homes, uh, Spring Parade of Homes, has started, and that's going to run through uh, April 7th. So with that in mind, we're going to start out in Command, and we're going to jump to Designs, actually, where we're going to design our email that we want to send. So let's go ahead and create a design. It's going to be an email. Um, and we're going to create a new template with that in mind. We have a selection from these sorts of things for our email, a content block. The first content block I'm going to use is an image. Um, I've already uploaded uh, this Parade of Homes images, and if you needed to add an image, you just go to Add Images and upload any files that you have and you want to drop, or drag and drop them if it's somewhere on your, mail, on your desktop. But I'm going to go ahead and select this image that I already uploaded. And that's just a little big for me, so I'm going to compress it a little bit. I think that's probably a good size. I just don't want to have any white space. So that's what's going to show at the top of my email. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put a quick title in there. We're going to call it Spring Parade. And then we're going to drop our text blocks right here. This is where the actual body of the email is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. I'm going to jump over to my friend Chat GPT, and I had them write an email here called Create an Email Blast, designed to go out to real estate clients, identified as buyers, highlighting the spring parade of homes that last March 8th through April 7th. Good call to action and keep emojis and emojis. Keep it short. I super believe in short emails. So here's a text of my email. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Drop it right into my body over here. And I'm going to replace this dear client's name with the contact first name and the contact last name. So by doing that, it's going to pull from the database. Here it's showing what's going on, why I do this. I'm going to get rid of this here where it says call to action. I just don't like that verbiage. Um, and then here under looking forward to exploring with you, I'm going to go ahead and add my agent first name, space, don't forget the space, agent last name. And once you got that, I think we got ourselves a nice little email here. If you want to change the font, you know, or something like that, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all this and I'm going to put it in Mully. I don't know why. doesn't matter. I like that one better. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. This is my email now. Looks great. That's what I wanted. I'm going to hit save. You're asking yourself, but wait, there, but people are either going to read it or not. Move on with your day. Go ahead and close this out. Save my changes. I've got my email right here. So now to make my campaign, jump into campaigns. I'm going to go to emails, create campaign, email. My campaign name is going to be Spring Parade. I can name it whatever I want. Um, but in this case, Spring Parade looks good to me. I'm looking to attract some buyers, create campaign. So my campaign name, Spring Parade, cl customers, clients won't see that. It's going to come from this email address. Who am I going to send it to? Um, you can, if you don't have lists already, you can create a list right here. For me, I'm going to go ahead and send it to all my buyers. So I'm going to go to tags, buyer, and buyers. Anything tag buyer and buyers. So that's the three of them. And I just need a list name. And I'm going to call this list name buyers because that's fun. Um, and now I have this list that has everybody in my thing tagged currently as buyers. This is a list. I could use this list again in the future, but it won't update if I change the buyers. Subject for my email, you know, I'm going to pull that from my chat GPT thing and I like that little flower and emojis because that's springy and fun and also uh, people don't People think it comes from a real person when you do when you put emojis in there. So I'm going to go ahead with that Then the last element is to pick my design So I picked the one that I just made. Here's my email. That's what I like Go ahead and save and then X, save, X, save, X, and then save again. What it's going to do is show me my email over here, dear contact first name, last name. Here's the email I had. It's going to come out. Yes, as an agent, there's a demo account. So the name is demo agent. 
if you had that where we put the agent's name in there, it's going to have your name, which is way better. Now that I've got it all set up, I can uh, do a couple things. Actions, I can preview it or send a test email to myself to make sure I like the way it looks. I recommend it. But once I'm done with that, I'm either going to schedule it or send it. Since it starts today, I'd say send it. But if you want, if you were doing this a couple days in advance, maybe it's schedule and you'll pick your date and time. But all in all, boom, you've got yourself a campaign single email sent out to whatever set of uh, recipients you want to create from your list. So enjoy that. You guys have a great day. And uh, like and subscribe if you think this is great stuff. Let me know what you think. Have a, have a good day.